where will I spend my eternity? I'll be lost in a world full of sorrow. Without Jesus, somebody tell me where would I be? Lord God Almighty, we are in your presence on this your holy Sabbath morning. We are in our right minds. We are enjoying your blessings. O oh Lord God Almighty, we are experiencing your salvation. We are basking in the sunshine of your love. What a good God you are. You are faithful even when we are unfaithful. It is because of your mercies, your word says that we are not consumed. Your compassions, they fail not. They are new every morning. And that's why we join the prophet in proclaiming great is thy faithfulness. The word says, Behold what man of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. That we indeed should be called the sons of God. Oh Father, we know not what we shall be. But we know that we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. We do ask for forgiveness of sins now, for washing and cleansing from all unrighteousness. Even through the blood of Jesus. As if come by here to study your word, come by here to pray and to praise. Manifest your power in this place. Oh God, beat back the powers of darkness. Confuse the plans of the enemy. Bring his plans to naught. Oh Lord God Almighty, cancel every demonic, diabolic, devilish assignment against your people now. We do, oh God, cancel everything in the name of Jesus. And we declare that Jesus is Lord. We wait. Do your work of conviction. Do your work of conversion. Do your work, O oh God, of saving and delivering today. Those you have brought for baptism, do strengthen them and bring them quickly to the altar when the call goes out. Those you have brought to us still in the valley decision, O oh God, may they settle, may they make their calling in the election sure and settle with Jesus today. Ensuring that their lives are hid with God in Christ Jesus. May they too come forward. Whether they have come with clothes or not, may they come forward. Clothes shall be provided. A change of women shall be provided. Whatever is needed shall be provided. May they allow nothing or no one to stop them from doing what you have placed on their hearts. That is going with Jesus all the way today into the watery grave of baptism. We do thank you and praise you and we wait expecting you to do that which you alone can do. For this is our prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You can take your seats this morning. I continue to proclaim that God is good. And that all the time, God is good. You are 
looking as those seminarians would say so picturesque in your kaleidoscopic array of colors this morning. And uh, we are glad for this privilege to worship God. Amen? Amen. I have in my hand this morning that phone that I've been promoting and promising. I told you I bought it. And so I have it in my possession. It's a Samsung A32 5G. Come on, put us here. And it's brand new. I'm just taking it out from there. It's brand new. It is new brand. Amen. And it's there for the taking. But what do we have to do to get it? What do we have to do to get it? You have to work hard and bring persons to listen to the preaching of the gospel. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So those of you who, whose motto is seeing is believing, you see, right? All right. So it's time to get up and move and get to work. Amen? Amen? Yeah, we should not have any standing room out here tomorrow night because you have seen that the phone is here. Amen? Amen. And so, as you recognize, I'm sure you have recognized that every night is getting bigger and bigger. Every Sabbath is getting bigger and bigger. Because every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Our message this Sabbath morning is entitled Victory Through Song and Praise. What did I say? Victory Through Song and Praise. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 it begins by Introducing a particular challenge that the king of Judah at that time was facing. It begins by introducing the king by name Jehoshaphat. And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat was facing a tremendous challenge. For there was an alliance of nations which had come together to wage war against Judah. Their intent was to destroy, utterly to destroy Judah. Their intent was to eliminate Judah. Their intent was to wipe out Judah. The intent was to ensure that every inhabitant of Judah must bite the dust. It was the devil's plan to destroy Judah. I repeat, it was the devil's plan to eliminate Judah. You see, Judah was special. I said Judah among the tribes of Israel was a special tribe. Uh, Judah was a special tribe. Bible scholars tell us that uh, the name Judah means praise. Judah means praise. Judah was special. Because you see it was through Judah God would one day bring the redeemer of the world. It was through Judah that God would one day bring the seed of the woman that will crush the head of the devil. 
Jesus will come out of Judah. I said Jesus will come out of Judah. So as we look at biblical history, we would see the devil always turned his guns in a particular way to what Judah. He was always, as it were, dug in the heels of Judah. And so he decides to bring these nations together that they might destroy Judah. A great army as the sons of the sea came before King Jehoshaphat. The Bible tells us that the king called the people together for a holy convocation. Called them together for prayer. Called them together for fasting. Recognizing that their only hope was in the God of heaven. Their only hope was in the God of heaven. The king called them and got down on his knees and, and opened a matter before God. Amen. The Bible wants us to understand. God wants us to understand. When we face challenges in our lives, we need to come before the great God of heaven. We need to lay them out before the God of heaven who is able to meet any challenge, who is able to meet any obstacle, who is able to solve any problem, who is able to answer any question, who can stand up against any foe. He is the great God of heaven. I say he is the almighty God. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the unmoved mover. I'm talking about the God of heaven. He is the one who can change the hearts of men. And so we need to go and place our cares. He said we can cast all our cares upon him. For he cares for us. And as the king opened the matter before God, the Spirit of God came through and came upon a young man. And the young man revealed to the king that God was on his side. If God is on your side. And so we pick it up in verse 17. And God is speaking to the king and the people. And he says, he shall not need to fight in this battle. <laughs> the Spirit of God came through this young man speaking now and the young man said to the king and the people, he shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear, fear, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord, amen. And the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the Kohites stood up to do what? Stood up to do what? I have stood up to do what? To praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. Amen. And when he had consulted with the people, watch this, 
and he appointed singers unto the Lord and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever and when they began to sing and to praise the Lord set ambushments we will preach this morning the Lord said what ambushments against the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir which will come against Judah and they were what and they were what smitten for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly do what slay and destroy them and when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir everyone had to do what to destroy another and when Judah came uh, toward the watch tower, tower in the wilderness they looked unto the multitude and behold and behold they were dead bodies fallen to the earth and what and what and what and none escaped the word of God came to the young man, to King Jehoshaphat. You shall not need to fight. In other words, this is not your fight. I said, this is not your fight. I'm speaking to somebody today. This is not your fight. It's not a fight in flesh and blood. I said it's not a fight in flesh and blood. It is not your fight. It is a spiritual fight. And therefore you must understand that the fight, the battle is not in the physical realm but in the spiritual realm. That trouble you are seeing, that opposition you are getting, it's not in the flesh but it's in the spirit. It has been manifested to 
he tries to defend God's people and distract them and stop them. God calls on us today to stand up and to bend our voices and to lift our voices in praise that his power might come by, that the Holy Ghost might be manifested, that souls might be delivered in the name of Jesus. Oh, my man, just check out that, that note for me this morning. I'm saying that faith is the victory because victory comes through prayer and through song as he manifests faith in Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Let's stand and praise Jesus this morning. Let's stand and lift the voices to Jesus this morning. He is worthy! He is worthy! He is worthy!
day is coming where as God's people we shall be praising to eternity, amen? I said a day is coming when as God's people we shall be praising to eternity.
And so I have three simple questions for you this morning. And as these questions are asked, I want you just to raise your hand and say amen. Amen? So the questions are read and asked. And once you are in agreement, I ask those who are in front to place your hand up and say amen in agreement. And when they agree, I ask the congregation to affirm them with an amen. Are we clear? One, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you desire to live a life in a saving relationship with Him? Do you? Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Amen. God be praised. God be praised. Two, do you accept the teachings of the Bible? Are expressed in the statement of the fundamental beliefs of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, and do you pledge, by God's grace, to live your life in harmony with these teachings? Amen. Raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. Say amen. Oh God, we praise. God, we praise. God, we praise. We are there. We are there. Last question. Important questions being asked. Number three. Do you? Do you desire to be baptized? Can somebody say amen? Yeah. Baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh Day Adventist Church and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, times, offerings. And a life of service, do you? Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together, somebody. Put your hands together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God be praised. And so at this point in time, what we want to do, um, we want to move that these persons they be accepted into the Seventh Day Adventist Church once, of course, they have been baptized. If you agree, can you put your hands together? It's time to move. I so move. Let's move. Is there a second? Is there a second? Any questions? No questions. If you are in favor, listen to the one. Come on, listen carefully. If you are in favor, can you put your hands up? I want to put hands together in the affirmation in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Holy praise. Holy praise. And so I'm asking for the the Bible workers or clerks, Bible workers, just escort them to the back. Right? With, with reverence as we continue to have a fellowship of praise. Bible workers, please come forward as we escort those who have given the light to Jesus in the back. Please escort each of them. Our Bible workers, our leaders, our elders, please give support in Jesus' name as we continue the fellowship in song. And I'm asking for the deacons as well, the deacons as well, to please ascend to the back. As we put things in place for our candidates. <laughs> 